don't apologize to you, but it's too late. I just wanna say, I miss you, baby. Ohio gozaimasu, watashi no namai dois, nihon ski desu. So by now you guys are probably wondering, why is he speaking in Japanese? Well, my name is Doyce John, this is Heather Skipper, my special guest co-host, and we are here live from Japan Week going on in New York. So stay tuned guys, we're going to check out some fashion, fun, technology, and food. Are you ready for this, Heather? Of course I'm ready, it's Japan Week, woo! Awesome. So stay tuned, guys, and let's get it. Hi, I'm Heather Skipper here with Couch TV with Jeff Reynolds from Japan Rail Modelers, Modelers of Washington, D.C. Say hi, Jeff. Hello, welcome. We have some model trains here on display at Japan Week from the Mail Rail Modelers of Washington, D.C. It is a mouthful. We have all of these beautiful miniature trains right over here. And Jeff's going to tell us some more about that. Well, we model Japanese trains and uh, we specialize in it. And we'd like to show a lot of the different scenes that you can see from Japan. Uh, there's many interesting things in Japan because trains go everywhere in Japan. It's not like here where they're kind of out in the boonies and you don't really see much. In Japan, they're right next to your house. You're everywhere and mixed in. So it's a lot more fun. Plus, they have a big variety of trains. If you see the trains that are running on the layout right now, they all look very different. If you look at the trains you see around the U.S., they all look pretty much the same. So a lot of us get into this because we love the variety. We like to have a variety of scenes. And if you go down the layout here, you can see it goes from having an old town over here with a festival into a big city street over here with a cherry blossom park. On the other side of the layout is an old town down here, a container yard for freight. Um, come down here, we of course have to have Godzilla attacking the city. If can't have a Japanese city without Godzilla attacking. We have a nice little suburban station down here going on, a harbor scene over here with boat haul out, fishing boats, even a couple sunbathers over here in their swan boat that they can rent and paddle around in. Farm scene with traditional rice paddies. Uh, over in the corner over here is an onsen, which is Japanese hot springs, a very traditional thing to do and to go up to your resort onsen for a weekend, usually up in the mountains more temple scenes over in here. So in a small layout like this, when you model Japanese, we can do all these very different layouts because in Japan, you'll see scenes like this mixed up right next to each other. Makes it really fun as a modeler to figure out all these nice little fun different things and do it with this Japanese flavor. Very nice, thank you, Jeff. So we have several things over here at Japan Week, including things for the children. So everything here is for young and old alike. So please come visit us at Japan Week at Grand Central Station. Hey guys, Doyce John here, and I am here with Yuki, who is from the Tourism Board of Japan. Yuki, we have seen such amazing things here at Japan Week. Um, how would someone schedule a trip to come to Japan? Um, how to uh, schedule to come to Japan? The, uh, well, the best uh, best season is maybe um, the spring because you can enjoy cherry blossoms. Or if you come to Japan in autumn, then you can enjoy um, autumn color. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And the cherry blossom festival or cherry blossom time is great there. And when did you say that is? Um, well, the, if you come to Tokyo, that will be the end of March or early April, but uh, Japan is a really a long country from north to south, so actually you can enjoy cherry blossoms maybe in um, March or f uh, late February in Okinawa, okay. and um, you can enjoy in uh, early May if you go to Hokkaido, the northern part of Japan. So which, what is each area known for? Like, what is Hokkaido known for? Hokkaido is a um, northern prefecture, so it's famous for the powder snow, the world first class powder snow, so you can enjoy ski there. Wow. And Yuki actually means snow in Japanese, right? That's right, I was born in Hokkaido. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, so do you get a chance to go skiing and live it up or anything like that? Yeah, but not only s uh, ski, but after ski, you can enjoy hot springs or uh, local foods at the izakaya, the local bars, and so you can enjoy a lot of things. And food. I know that's a big thing. I love food, and I know you guys do, too. Um, what are some foods, if we come to Japan, that we have to try? Um, well, 
it's really difficult to choose, but... Because um, there's so many, right? <laughs> it's really difficult. But probably, uh, for example, um, the many people in New York know about ramen, I think. Ramen, is very, ramen noodle is very uh, popular in New York, but uh, actually if you go to Japan, you can enjoy ramen half the price of New York. Yeah. Half price is never a bad thing. Well, I want to just thank you so much, Yuki. Um, and do you guys have a website that our viewers could go to? Uh, sure. The, uh, our website is um, japantravelinfo.com. Well, you can have lots of information about Japan there. Wonderful. So again, guys, that's japantraveling.com. And thank you again, Yuki. And let's see what's next. <laughs> Go, go, go.